Hello everyone. Let's solve another Olympiad mathematics. We have um, 4 root x squared equal to square root of 4x. This is very simple. If you know what to do, right? Now what we have here is the same thing as 4 squared multiplied by square root of x squared and then this is equal to square root of 4x now what do i do from here this can now cancel this and 4 squared is 16 right and now we are having x which should be equal to on this side we are having um square root of 4 multiply by square root of x okay these are the same thing now if you take a step x 16x will be equal to square root of 4 is 2 then multiply by root x we have 2 root x and then from here we can just divide both sides by 2 and divide the whole of this by 2 2 will cancel this and this will go there 8 times right so meaning that we have 8x to be equal to root x now let me turn it around so i will have root x to be equal to 8x but then there will be need for me to square both sides so that square root will be moved and then i will have square root of x squared to be equal to 8x squared now, if I do not put this bracket, it means that um, the square is for x alone. Okay, remember that 8x squared is not the same thing as 8x squared. Okay, so these two are not the same. So you have to put this in parentheses. Now, this can cancel this. And then we'll have x over there, which will be equal to here, we're having 8 squared multiplied by x um, squared. And then x will be equal to 8 squared is 64. Remember, it is not 16. And then x squared will be multiplied. Now, I want to turn it around again. So I have from um, 64 x squared to be equal to x right and this means that 64 x squared minus x is equal to zero now this is a quadratic equation even though the constant is not there but then we can solve this by factorization where we're going to have um, x as the common factor then in here we have 64 x minus here we're going to have one which is equal to zero now okay so from here what do we do again we are going to use zero product rule remember if you have a times b to be equal to zero it means that a is either zero because if you have zero times b you're still going to have zero right okay and then what if it is the b that is zero that means you have a times zero and you will still have zero so we're going to apply the same principle to this you know when we got x into bracket 64 x minus 1 equals zero this is the same multiplication here so we are going to say that x is equal to zero or 64x minus 1 is equal to 0. From here, x remains 0 or 64x is equal to 1. x remains 0 or x is equal to 1 over 64. Therefore, we have x to be equal to 0 or 1 over 64 so we have two solutions now 
the first one is x1 to be equal to 0 and we have x2 to be equal to 1 over 64. Now let us try to check to know if these two solutions satisfy the equation. The equation is 4 square root of x squared equal to square root of 4x. Now when x is equal to 0 then we have 4 square root of 0 squared. Now will this be equal to um, square root of 4 times 0? I guess the answer is yes because square root of 0 is 0 times 4 is 0. 0 squared is still 0 and that is equal to 4 times 0 is 0. Square root of 0 is still 0. This means that x equals 0 satisfies the given equation. Now let's go over to x equals 1 over 64. The original equation is 4 root x squared to be equal to square root of 4x. Let's get started. This means that we're going to have 4 square root of 1 over 64 and we have this squared. Will this be equal to square root of 4 times 1 over 64? Okay, so it's a question that we are asking ourselves. And then, one of, square root of 1 over 64 is the same thing as 4 times 1. Okay, 1 over 64, square root of 1 over 64 is 1 over 8. But we still have this to square. Will this be equal to um, square root of 4 over 64? 4 times 1 is 4, then everything is over 64. Now let's continue. This is the same thing as um, we are going to have 4 over 8 squared equal to, okay, equal or not equal to, by the way, Square root of 4 here is 2, and square root of 64 is 8. Now, let's continue. Now, we can reduce this to a lower term, so it will be very simple for us. This is going to be um, 1 over, over 2 squared, right? Will this be equal to, if you look here, 2 can go into itself one time, and 2 can go into 8. Four times and then from the look of things we can understand that they are going to be equal because 1 squared is 1 then 2 squared is actually um, 4 and it is equal to 1 over 4 on the right now this means that the two solutions x equals 0 satisfies the equation and then x equals 1 over 64 also satisfies the given equation. Thank you for watching and I am grateful.